Hey guys, Nate's dad here again. Just want to give you a few more thoughts and ideas on this uh, control box. Um, so first of all, I guess there's always the debate whether to buy the box or or retrofit some other kind of box or make your own box. Um, this box from Kelling, again, that's AutomationTechnologiesInc.com. They uh, sell this box, and it's kind of kind of custom made to um, to house all the components that we wanted to put in it. it. Cost about 80 bucks, and I balanced that against the amount of time it would take to do the work and and or retrofit something else and have it not come out quite as neat. Um, and decided to spend the money. Um, so that's kind of first uh, point I wanted to make. Second, I just wanted to run through, you know, the basic, uh, what it took to put it together. So you can get an idea of if it's something you want to tackle yourself or if it's something that you want to uh, enlist some help on. Or they do, I believe, sell, you know, ready-made integrated box like this. But I decided to save that money and I had a few customizations I wanted to make anyway. So, again, the, the box, the aluminum box itself, just with holes in it, came as one, um, one kit together with the switches and that plug and the fuse holder on the back. Um, the G540 with the power supply and the motors came as another kit. And all this wiring, the pre-made wiring, um, was ordered separately. As w and all of the wiring inside, all these single conductor type things, I had to provide myself um, as well as the crimp on connectors and that kind of stuff. So you get the idea that you have to have um, some knowledge of what's available in terms of uh, the material to, to integrate all of the pieces. Um, so uh, starting off, we worked on the mechanical stuff. Basically the G540 just slides in. Um, again, uh, just a few notes on that. It's um, it's basically four controllers. I think there are four of their of Gecko's G250 controllers that are all housed in this one little box, together with a breakout box, their own breakout box. You can see it's kind of small. So, you know, as an engineer, packing that much uh, power handling stuff and generating that much heat in one little place was a little bit concerning for us and that's the reason that um, this fan was um, added. Kelling does sell a fan but this one moves a lot more air than that. I, again I happen to have it, it's a 12 volt fan. Um, you could use a 120 volt fan and utilize that little power outlet that's on the back there. But what we did add was this uh, custom Kydex air scoop here that just blows the air the air comes in the fan this way, blows across the G540, and we found it really does a good job keeping things cool. Now, what did it take to build this thing? Well, it takes some basic soldering skills, takes some basic knowledge of how to wire a switch, follow wiring diagrams, and crimp on connectors. Um, and then, if you haven't done it before, there's just some hints and kinks, or hint, hints and uh, tips to um, make it kind of a little bit neater. Um, and neater in my mind is always safer so um, there are a few uh, little added um, wire uh, constraints to make that happen wire restraints I should say to make that happen so started basically with the mechanical stuff G540 slid right in the hole uh, we did utilize the smooth stepper board and there was already uh, accommodations for that there were two standoffs and this hole back here that says USB had to file out the USB hole just a little bit to get it to fit, but that's no big deal. Um, the, um, the 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 slot to connect the smooth stepper, you can kind of see it under there. They, they provided a slot for this ribbon cable here to make it out from the inside here and connect back to the um, this uh, 25 pin. Uh, this D, D sub 25 pin connector. Um, one quick mistake that I made in ordering was uh, I ordered this cable, which is basically a 25 pin to 25 pin uh, cable, male to male. So I want to replace that with just a gender, gender bender um, just to get rid of that cable. So that was one uh, small um, error in ordering. 
down there you can see in the corner down here they provided provisions for a, another um, a 9 pin uh, D connector just to provide inputs like um, limit switches etc so um, mechanical wise um, the first thing we did was tackle the power um, they provided this power switch let me show you that from the front because it's kind of cool it's a lit a lighted power uh, switch there you can see in the upper right corner too you can see the uh, the e-stop but the first thing we did was basically you just push that in in the hole had to file that hole out a little bit to get it to fit too and then um, that wires up to this uh, the power input section back here um, that's provided with sort of your standard computer cable again all these connectors are provided but none of the wiring in between so we used the standard um, computer cable, power cable, which was not provided. That just plugs in and brings the power into the box. The power runs up to the switch. Um, took a lot of research to figure out how to wire that switch. There's ab absolutely no markings on the switch at all. So um, basically the, the common and the hot come in the bottom. Common and hot go out the middle. You can see there's two wires coming out the middle. One of them goes to the power supply. One of them goes back to this outlet, which I chose to switch. Um, so the power switch controls both the main power supply and this little outlet on the back. Um, the fan is not controlled currently by that switch, and I think that's a good thing just to let it run, especially when you're, when you're done and you power the system down. The electronics are still hot, so that fan will continue to run to cool things down. Um, all that wiring is, uh, it's a cable type called THHN, uh, pretty high temperature stuff, uh, generally available. I did use um, uh, 16 gauge instead of 14 gauge uh, because that's uh, more than adequate for handling the, the currents that are going to run around in here. So here's kind of a view of all of that wiring. I'll provide a wiring diagram at some point in the future, but there are some available online and I'll post those links as well. So again, power comes in the left, goes to the switch on the right, comes back out, goes to the power supply and to the power, the switched outlet on the back. Um, the power supply itself just screwed into place, the holes were provided. Um, one, one annoying thing was that no screws were really provided to mount any of this stuff. So I had to provide my own screws, but you know, it's a pretty minor thing. Power supply just screwed in from the bottom with um, with four screws which is really nice so so far everything is just screwed into place and that's I think the value of of buying the ready-made box um, one other note about the fan there was a pattern um, cut into the aluminum um, you know sort of a standard fan input pattern if you will um, it really restricted the airflow with the fan that moves this much air so we basically cut that out and just into a circle using a Dremel tool and a little cutting um, attachment on the Dremel tool. So let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, that's about it in terms of the box. Um, it's basically point-to-point -point wiring. Um, I did use uh, liberally utilize crimp-on connectors, especially for the 120 volt stuff. For the 48 volt stuff, for example, connecting the power supply to the G540. I did crimp those, but I also soldered them on. Um, personal preference, I think. Um, crimped and soldered on all the 48 volt stuff, just crimped on the 120 volt stuff. Um, let's see, maybe that's, uh, that's enough for this one. Um, basic mechanical skills, basic soldering skills, uh, idea of how to wire things from point to point and follow a wiring diagram. Those are the kind of skills that are needed for this. And finally, as I said, I highly, highly recommend buying the um, buying this box from um, AutomationTechnologiesInc.com. Just save gobs of time. So that's it for this. Uh, next, I'll I'll provide a few more details about the the wiring and the software. Thanks. Bye.